can just wipe you off the map. Like that can be a hundred to zero pretty quickly. Uh, like this is a lot of pick from both teams. Uh, surfing around and dashing around here as it's the Talia opponents and. Oh, they're looking to set Whoa. up a dive here. This would be very aggressive early on. I'm gonna say the ping just went down. That was the alert from the Scryer's Bloom. There's the repel, the last few hits. The hits go on to Darshan, he flashes out. That was a very heated turret, and they would have gone down. Great play with the flashes backing off as well. Four man top. to farm. The wall gets Bjergs in there. Darshan would have had a way out, but he has to put himself back under the turret. Tries to go for the stun onto Hauntzer with a slice and dice to get a little bit of room, doing everything he can. But TSM is one step ahead. Uh, for this, oh, double getting caught. Just the chain of corruptions just after they're hesitating on this. They just saw the dragon get taken down, so the grab was almost for naught. Now they're on to Aphromu as he doesn't know how much he wanted this fight. The kickback from Sven Skarin and the double knockup. And they're gonna clean this up. Double kill for Sven. TSM gets so using to get themselves these leads. Arrow. That arrow. Cross field. Oh, oh. like a moth to the flame. Oh, way to kick him back and get the kill, resulting in the death of Hoogie with summoners up. Now it's going to be the straight down repel here for Dardoch, and he may not find oh, himself no. taunting anybody after that one. Hoogie, oh, only advantages. The CLG are looking to try to stop this. TP's coming in from both sides. More TSM members are here first. Darshan just to the left. They have Bjergsen. Now Ruthless Predator, the double stun. Dardoch gets out very low, but nobody's there with Darshan and Dardoch. They're already Ooh, down the before line. the team can get in. Hoogie getting hit. Now trying to get away with the Orbit Deception speed is just enough. But he goes down with both summoners down as well. Hauntzer in a 2v1 now. You can see Stixay has been so far oh, behind. Oh, the arrow! He can't provide the damage necessary. Heal is there for him. Let's the barrel charge up. The long range arrow keeps Hoogie in place. Long enough to tell the story. Dardoch right, gonna look Whoa. for the skill, though. Right in, does not even hesitate. Oh, he got it. Gets it. Dardoch is in that mode. You can see it right there. They were going for either the death and the dragon, or death, the dragon. Ow. And now it's going to be the fight resulting. Maybe Hauntzer goes down here. This extended fight going in favor of CLG as Darshan flashes forward. One more auto attack there. Does not slice and dice forward for any more. The chase has not given CLG the chance to push the wave. So they'll do that, not, do that now, rather, with top lane. Pearson. Caught out here. He's going to go down too. There's a little bit of relentlessness coming here from CLG. They head back down to the bot side. Double's looking for another arrow. Hits it again. It's Sven looking for the kick. Sven waits. He waits for Dardoch to separate himself a little bit more from Aphromu. They know they can't take the fight. The quick hop off stops anything Always from mid. In my opinion, kind of been his best chip. Teleport now coming in. That's the hit up on to Dardoch. He goes down immediately. And it looks like Hauntzer is going to be trying to follow this fight, whether it is to just push CLG off or get more. We'll find out in a second. It's to get more. Flash forward. That's going to be the hit on the sticks. A barrel slow to oh, come in as well. There's the flash hook from Biofrost. And he gets there even to the teleport coming in. Biofrost is going to be able to see that. Get a flay for his teammate. Right past No Ruthless Predator on the cross. They should be able to take out Darshan, but quickly Dardoch and who he collapse on that fight. Double lift and Biofrost. What a split by them to push CLG off as well. Bjergsen weaving the wall down to the fight, and CLG just finds TSM coming out of the woodwork. The arrow missing, and that could be the engage. All the way to Bjergsen. How did he get it to split the members of TSM? Biofrost and double lift now running for the hills, but it's Darshan who's already at the top playing king. Can they follow up with more? The charm just missing for the heal from Don't double lift. Back up. There's Dude. the separation, but wait a minute. Aphromu gets picked in. The death sentence just misses, and nobody's sentenced just yet. Darshan in. A ruthless predator look for double lift on the end, but he just gets the call with a bit of the rage on the end for extra heal. This is such a separation. There's the kill. He's waiting oh, for oh, it. Oh. And Sven taunts it before he goes for Hoonie. Sven Sarek going legendary in the game. 9-0 and 8 on the Lee Sin. They're going to stretch. Go right over to the Baron here. A CLG chasing, but... A double if can go over and they can collect this Baron, probably for sure. Close. Oh. oh, just barely lives. Get those passive heals on and he's good to go. Plus those overalls, great defense. 19 <laughs> to four, 22 minutes in. It feels like we're so much further through this game, but it's only Baron at 20 minutes. Once again, this seems to be a theme of the week. Early Baron. It's been such an active game. It does take them a while to take it down because it's so early in that game, but no jungler here. After looking for the hook steal. Nope. So close. 
Kind of respecting the, the kill column as well. 1 0 10. 1 0 Lurt. Oh my god! <laughs> Happy birthday to Double Lift! There's a surprise party. It's not even his birthday. Oh, There's the hit. Oh, hook for hook. We're going to see who has the better one. Who is the governor of Hook City on this? Half for a move. Very close to going down. His stick stays down. The DPS from the bot lane is out of the fight. And now Darshan has to look for safety as Bjergsen's able to throw the rocks in and do enough damage. They'll be able to solidify this one down. Biofrost cheating death with a flay. On to the big croc. And TSM come up big with four. Kalia wall in about five Biofrost seconds. around. They're not even going to need to use it. If they do, they're going to cut the team off to the other side. Whoa, lots of damage coming into Biofrost as well. So CLG having their own damage to put forward, but top for support. TSM feeling all right. Yeah, TSM will definitely take that trait, and they are pushing up here, still have the Baron buff active. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have to be somewhat respectful of the fact that Aphromoo can keep looking for these hooks, but with Haunter out in front, you can't hook that guy in, and they're just going to siege very aggressively. Should knock down this turret, no problem. Inhibitor as well, not getting, or I should say getting enough respect to get themselves in. Dardock low, can't participate in the fight. His repel would be for defense, not to engage. Off though, we'll see. Big separation in the fight, 5v1. If he can even live for that long, the entire team is on the top side here with the inhibitor down on bot. Items and that you would expect. They haven't built any armor yet. That hurts, because armor is one of the cheaper items Don't you play. can get in the game. Oh, Hunter with the huge shields. Still able to get over the wall and take down Huhi, not having the same <laughs> game as he did on the Fiora. An arrow splitting the defensive sticks A and Aphromu with no hit. And Bjergsen in a very scary spot. Whoa! He puts himself on autopilot for a second. Maybe looking to make the wall play. Looking up towards the top side of the team. Dardock very low. He will stay alive with the help. No, Biofrost flashes in for the auto. And they're going to start cleaning up the rest of CLG on their own. Engage TSM turns them on their own head. Just ridiculous. That's the 13th kill of the game for Sven Skarin, and they are gonna close this one out. The Nexus turrets are already under fire. We're gonna be going to game number three, Riv. 25, you serious? 25, Katie, 28 and seven. 29 minutes into game, TSM shaking off game one as CLG came out strong. TSM turned on the afterburners, and we're going to a game three. It's definitely 